Welcome back everyone. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to go over a couple of more quick hits uh, before we get into some more fun drawing and editing commands. Uh, let's talk about drawing limits and then setting up our drawing units and then hopefully by the end of this tutorial we'll be able to get into command aliases or shortcut commands otherwise we'll have to do that in the next tutorial. Anyway, drawing limits. Um, we had talked about the AutoCAD workspace, uh, the drawing area in some of the earlier tutorials. And AutoCAD doesn't really care if you're you know, drawing uh, the, the, uh, the solar system or whether you're drawing uh, the details of a microchip. Um, it really doesn't make a difference to AutoCAD. But one thing to do that's good uh, when you start working is to set up your drawing limits. In other words, tell AutoCAD you know, how big is this workspace that I need to work in? Well, if I'm drawing a, uh, the details of a microchip, well, then my drawing limits may be, you know, one inch by one inch. Uh, if I'm drawing a house plan, uh, my drawing limits may be 150 feet by 150 feet. So uh, we'll want to tell AutoCAD what the drawing limits are. Uh, the easiest way to do that is if you just go to your format pull-down menu, Go all the way down near the bottom, uh, you'll see an option that says Drawing Limits. Click on that and it's going to uh, bring up this command on the command line and it's going to it's trying to set your drawing limits. Now, it says specify the lower left corner uh, and then it says 0, 0. Traditionally, I like to leave the lower left corner at 0, 0 and then always be working in you know positive x and positive y space. It really doesn't matter. AutoCAD doesn't care unless you're doing you know using absolute coordinates, which uh, most likely you're not going to be. It doesn't really matter. But traditionally, that's just the way I like to set up my drawing. So the default here is zero zero for the bottom left corner of my workspace. I'm going to hit enter, and then the upper right corner is twelve by nine. So twelve in the x and nine in the y. And if, I, if that's fine for me, then I'm just going to hit OK. If I want to set it to something like 100 units by 100 units, um, then I'm going to type in 100, 100 and hit Enter. And there you go. Now, you don't really see anything, um, but if you were to turn on your grid, which we'll get into a little bit later, um, your grid will stop at those drawing limits. Um, if you do a zoom all, uh, which we're going to get into uh, in the next couple of tutorials, um, some of our zoom commands, um, then it's going to zoom to the extents of those limits. So uh, you don't really see anything here when you set your limits, but it is something that you're going to want to do. Now, something that is very important that uh, you definitely will notice um, is when you set your drawing units. Um, now, if you're drawing a house plan, you might want to set your units to architectural. If you're drawing some sort of an engineering plan, you might want decimal, um, and there's surveyor units and things like that. So let's take a look at units. To set your units, you're going to go to your format pull-down menu. You're going to go down towards the bottom. There's an option there that says units. Click on units. It's going to bring up a dialog box, your drawing units dialog box. Now, the length of your units, uh, by default in the general AutoCAD um, drawing template file is going to be set to decimal, and you probably noticed that uh, when we, like when we typed in our units for our limits here just a minute ago, it was all in decimal. It was 12.0 and 9.0. Well, you might want to change those limits or change those units. So instead of using just decimal units, if you click on this pull down, it'll give you all the different optional units. You have architectural, decimal, engineering, fractional. And scientific. Uh, let's say I wanted architectural units. Well, I'm going to select architectural and now it's going to ask me for my precision. Uh, everything from 0, 0 all the way up to 1 256 of an inch as far as precision goes. Now AutoCAD is, pre is precise up to the you know thousandth point past the decimal point. Um, it's extremely precise. You don't have to worry about that. So if you set it to 16th of an inch, it doesn't mean that anything, uh, you know, it's only going to be precise up to a 16th of an inch. It's actually going to be more precise than that. It's just that those are the numbers that it's going to be rounding to, like when you list the length of a line. If you want to find the length of a line or the length or the width of a wall, um, it's going to round that to 16th of an inch when it's giving you that information. 
um, although it's actually even more precise than that. So you can set your precision to whatever you want. I'll set mine to eighth, let's say. And then over here, um, this is my angle. Uh, what type of angle do I want? Do I want it referred to in decimal degrees when I'm typing in angles or when I'm listing objects and finding what their angles are? Um, do I want it degrees, minutes, seconds, gradients, radians, and surveyor units? So those are different types of angles um, that I can input or extract out of the drawing when I'm listing the properties of objects. And of course we have precision here as well. Uh, this is obviously zero, this is 0, 0.0 in decimal degrees for the angle. Um, I'm just going to do degrees, minutes, seconds just so that you can see. Precision is to the degree, um, to the gr degree in minutes, to the degree in seconds, and then to the degree in seconds plus one decimal, uh, degrees, minutes, seconds, two decimals, and so on and so forth. So you can set up your precision for your angles uh, as well. So that's setting up units in AutoCAD. And there's a couple of other options which we can get into later. I uh, wouldn't need to worry about those as much right now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK once I've got my unit set. And it's, this time I'm just going to hit Cancel. Well, that's how you set up your drawing limits and also your drawing units. Uh, and that's it for this tutorial. In, uh, in the next tutorial, I know this one was short. Uh, a couple of things we had to take care of there. But next tutorial, uh, we're going to go into command aliases and shortcut commands, which uh, makes AutoCAD drawing quite a bit faster if you'll just take the time to learn them. So until next time, I appreciate you watching, and I look forward to uh, talking to you soon. Bye-bye.